Satan knows he cannot destroy God. So he will try and destroy at least God's image, which is the family. This we cannot allow. Even for a minute's satisfaction, we cannot let Satan tarnish God's image by destroying our beloved family. Benedict XVI said that the Holy Trinity is the model of every family living in perfect communion of persons in truth, goodness, beauty, love, and unity. If the family is kept strong, the church and the society equally stand firm. But if the family is destroyed, the church and the society is also destroyed. Our families become truly Christian when we live as a communion of persons in complete truth and perfect love with God and with each other. The love in the family, therefore, is that readiness to give up one's life out of love of God for the protection and spiritual well-being of all the members of the family. If that love is stronger than death, then who could destroy family life? Not even Satan. A sinless and grace-filled lifestyle among all the members of the family will make it possible to become a worthy image of the Trinity. The whole family, father, mother, and children should consecrate themselves and live the communion of reparation lifestyle daily. To become a communion of persons in one God, like the Holy Trinity. When a family reflects the image of truth and love, then it should extend to other families as well. The house-to-house -house evangelism is practically extending the Trinitarian communion of truth and love to all families in the neighborhood with the hearts of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph as our family model on earth and the Trinity as our model in the kingdom of heaven. Most Holy Trinity, who live in me, I praise you, I worship you, I adore you, and I love you. Let the Son lead us to the Father, to the Spirit, to live with the tree on God forever and ever. Amen.